Having a stretchy bind off is important when you want a stretchy edge. Think the cuffs of socks, mittens, and sweaters. And in my case, a cowl that didn't quite fit. On. Ah, uh, uh, uh. Help me. To avoid a similar traumatic scenario, I'll show you how to knit the stretchiest bind off ever. Ever. It's truly amazing. <laughs> So here is the devil cowl with a regular old bind off right here. And I thought before I showed you how to do the stretchy bind off, we could kind of measure out the regular bind off. So we have kind of a baseline to compare the stretchy bind off to. I'm going to stretch as far as I can. And I think we can call it at nine inches. And now I'm gonna show you how to do the stretchy bind off and then we'll compare the two. So I put my cowl back onto the needle and I'm going to redo my bind off using the stretchy bind off. So here I'm at the beginning of my round and you can use this for knitting flat or knitting in the round, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to knit the first stitch and then knit the second stitch. So now I've just knit two stitches, okay? Then I'm going to use the left needle and I'm going to insert it into the front of my two stitches that I've just knit. So here we go. All right, now I'm going to knit those two stitches together just like this. Here we go, that was a bit of a tight squeeze. Okay, and we'll just do that again. I'm going to knit one stitch from my left needle. Now I've got two stitches on my right needle and you'll find that when we do this bind off, you'll always need two stitches on your right needle before we start knitting anything together. Now we're gonna use our left needle, insert it into these first two stitches like so, okay? And then use our working yarn to knit those two stitches together. Here we go. Now we're going to knit another stitch from the left needle, okay? So we've got two stitches on the right needle, use our left needle, insert it into those two stitches on our right needle, knit them together just like this. And now we've got one stitch on our right needle and we're going to knit another stitch off of our left needle. Now we've got two. Now we're gonna use our left needle, go into those first two stitches from the front like so, and then knit those two together and then off the needle. Okay, and we're just gonna continue going along like that knit one from the left needle, and then use our left needle to go into those first two stitches from the front, like so, and then knit those, whoops, and then knit those two stitches together, and then there was one, okay? Continue like this across your work. All right, so I've just got a few more stitches left here. Insert the left needle into the front and knit those two stitches together and here we go Now I've got one stitch left on my needle and I'm just going to cut off the length of yarn here And now I'm going to just take this yarn and Stuff it into this one stitch that I have left what I normally do is just wrap it around the needle and then take the stitch on my needle and then bring it over that strand of yarn and pull it through, tighten it up and ta-da! We have completed the stretchy bind off. And it feels very stretchy right off the bat. I mean, it's like, whoa. All right, so now I'll show you how to do the stretchy bind off with a rib stitch. I've got a one by one rib here, but the same principles apply to any kind of rib stitch. Okay, so what we're gonna do is knit the knits and purl the purls. So here we go, our first stitch is a knit stitch. Here we go, knit one. Our next stitch is a purl stitch, so we're going to purl it. Okay, so now we've got two stitches on our right needle, and now I'm going to bring my working yarn to the front because our last stitch was a purl stitch, so now I'm gonna keep the yarn up front and then I'm gonna use my left needle and go into the back of the stitches on my right needle, and then I'm going to purl those two stitches together, okay? And I'm purling them because my last stitch was a purl stitch. 
Okay, don't worry, we'll go through this again. Now our next stitch on our left needle is a knit stitch. So I'm going to knit it. There we go. Now I've got two stitches on my right needle. The last stitch that I worked, this one right here, was a knit stitch. So I'm going to knit into these two stitches the same way that we did for the knit bind off. So I'm gonna bring my left needle into the front of these two stitches like so, and then I'm going to knit into the two of them. All right, so you can see the next stitch is a purl stitch, so I'm going to purl into it. And because we purled into this last stitch right here, we're going to purl these two stitches together. So I'm gonna take my left needle, go into the two stitches, into the back of those two stitches, and then we're going to purl those two stitches together, okay? Now the next stitch on our left needle is a knit stitch, so I'm gonna knit into it. And because we knit into it, we're also going to knit into these two stitches. So I'm gonna take my left needle and go into the front of these two stitches and then knit into them, okay? So it's kind of like the last stitch that you knit kind of determines uh, what's gonna happen to the two stitches, okay? So this stitch is a purl stitch, so I'm gonna purl into it. Because we purled into it, these two are also going to be purled, okay? So this guy here kind of uh, makes the rules, All right? So we're gonna bring our needle into the back and then purl into those two stitches. There we go, okay? So this next stitch is a knit stitch and that this next stitch gets to make the decision. It's a knit stitch, so we're gonna knit both of these stitches together. So the needle goes into the front of those two stitches and then we're going to knit them together, okay? This stitch is a purl stitch, so we're gonna purl it. And, you know, he gets to make the decision, so we're going to purl these two stitches together. All right, so that's kind of how you can remember it. The last stitch that you knit kind of makes the call. Okay, so this was a knit stitch that we just did, so we're going to knit these two stitches together. Okay, this next stitch is a purl, so in addition to purling that stitch, we're also going to purl these last two stitches together, okay? Just like that. Next stitch is a knit, so we're gonna knit it, and then also knit the two stitches together, okay? So just continue doing that until you get to your last stitch. And now we've got our last stitch on our needle, and I'm going to trim off a length of yarn, and then bring the yarn to the front of my needle, and then grab the stitch and bring it over that strand of yarn, pull the yarn through, and now our cast off is complete and it is very stretchy. Oh my goodness, it almost fills the whole frame. And that's it. That's how you work the super stretchy bind off. All right, now is the moment of truth. We're going to measure out our stretchy bind off to see how much stretchier it actually is. The regular bind off we measured earlier was nine inches. So I've got it right at the beginning here of our tape measure, and then I'm going to just stretch it as much as I can and we can get up to 12 and a half inches. So that is much stretchier than we first started off with. Now, another thing that I wanna bring your attention to is that this bind off really flares out much more than the cast on. When knitting a regular stretchy bind off, knit two stitches. The left needle goes into those two stitches through the front, then knit those two stitches together. Now there's one stitch on the right needle. So knit another stitch so you've got two stitches and then knit those two stitches together through the front. Continue in this manner until you have one stitch left. Cut the yarn loose, leaving a five to 10 inch tail. Weave the tail through the last stitch. Et voila, you have a stretchy bind off. For a rib bind off, knit the knits and purl the purls. Knit or purl the first two stitches. Then depending on the last stitch, either knit those last two stitches together or purl the last stitches together. Now there's one stitch on the right needle. So knit or purl the next stitch so you have two stitches on the right needle. Then, depending on the last stitch, either knit or purl the two stitches together. Continue in this manner until you have one stitch left. Cut the yarn, weave through the last stitch, and you're done. 
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you now know how to knit a stretchy bind off for all your stretchy needs. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe to see more videos like this one. I'm Davina from SheepAndStitch.com. Come on over and visit the website if you haven't already. There's a lot of good stuff over there for your perusal. Thanks for watching, happy knitting, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!